Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Down below where it say Alan Baby. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel down below where it say my name, Alan Baby TV. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, and if you know, if it's your first time coming to the channel, just thumbs up on my video. Thumbs up on every video. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, it's alright. You can leave a comment down below. That's cool. But make sure you thumbs up my video, though, before you leave, though. You know what I'm saying? Before you leave my channel, make sure you thumbs up my video, though. I'm going to let everybody know, man. I love everybody around the world. You know what I'm saying? No hate to nobody. You know what I'm saying? No hate to nobody. I love everybody around the world. Black people, white people, every color. You know what I'm saying? If you, I love every race. And if you're gay, I love you if you're gay, too. You know what I'm saying? Don't matter. I love everybody around the world. But I want to get into this video, man, about Mac Dre, man. Rest in peace to Mac Dre, man. You know what I'm saying? When I say rest in peace to Mac Dre, rest in peace to Mac Dre. The legend. The legend. He was a legend, bro. Rest in peace to Mac Dre. He used to do that shit. This dance. This dance. Do, 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 do. This dance. This dance, yeah, that's the one. That's a banger. That he had bangers. Mac Dre, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He had bangers. If Mac Dre would have blew up in this motherfucking rap industry, bro, he'd be big as fuck. He'd be big, bro. He'd be big as hell. He'd be big as hell, man. He'd be on the billboard and shit, man. He'd be on the billboard and everything, man. We lost a good nigga to this rap industry, bro. We lost a good nigga, bro. A good nigga to this rap industry. It's sad though, cause we always lose rappers to the rap industry, right? Why do we always lose rappers to the rap industry when they about to get on? Or when they about to blow? When they about to get on? When they about to blow? Well, like, why are we always losing rappers, my nigga, to gun violence? You know what I'm saying? Why we can't be a man in this, whatever we got on our chest or whatever we got on our mind, why the fuck we can't sit down and work it out? Sit down and work it out with the man we got a problem with. Why we gotta come to gun violence? You know what I'm saying? Why we gotta come to gun violence, man? That shit is stupid, bro. That shit is dumb and stupid to me. You know what I'm saying? Now, I see JT and JT the bigger, you know what I'm saying? JT the bigger, you know, JT, you know, um, he go by a name, he go by his name is JT the bigger, you know what I'm saying? JT the bigger. So he basically, you know what I'm saying, trying to talk down on J Diggs. He trying to talk down on J Diggs and saying, J Diggs. Like, he basically saying J Diggs don't got love for Mike Drake. But I don't believe that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, my thing is this. Everybody got their own opinion what you believe. But I do believe J Diggs do got uh, love for Mike Drake. I do that. I do think he got love for Mike Drake. Everybody got love for Mike Drake. There's some niggas out there that got love for him. And some niggas out there that got hate for Mike Drake. But, like, you know, the thing is, you know, everybody know, you know, when you get in this rap industry, nigga, a lot of people going to hate you more than they love you, nigga. A lot of people going to hate you more than they love you, nigga. Or a lot of people ain't going to support your music. A lot of people will support your music. Overseas will support your music, but down out here, nigga, niggas ain't going to support your music. That's the problem with rappers. Rappers need to get they shit popping overseas first. Get they self popping overseas, nigga, like London, Mexico. Um, where else, nigga, uh, Paris, nigga, um, uh, Japan, nigga, King, um, well, Hong Kong, nigga, rappers need to get that shit popping out there first, and then come out here and get that shit popping, see, that's the key to the rap industry, my nigga, get your shit popping over there first, and then come and get your shit popping over here, my nigga, and then you can't, like, a motherfucker can't hate you, cause you got your shit popping over there first, nigga, and that shit hard to get your shit popping over there, it's easy to get your shit popping over here. A nigga can wake up tomorrow, nigga, and come out with a motherfucking stupid ass song. Um, a nigga can come out with a stupid ass song, and the song could be like, it could be, he could be here, he could have, he could have hooks in the song, and motherfuckers will look at the hooks instead of his rapping. They will look over, look at his lyrics, you know. A motherfucker could come out with a stupid song, and he could say, the song could be like, what can the song be? The song could be like, you know, ass and titties, ass and titties. So. Motherfuckers are gonna click on that shit if they see a song called Ass and Titties, right? Because they wanna see is it in there, right? And all you do is got a rapper that's rapping and shit. Motherfuckers are gonna overlook the, the lyrics, but motherfuckers are gonna like the song. Because the name, you know? But like I said, man, it's hard being a rapper, man. It's hard to be a rapper, man. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to be a rapper in, in 2022, man. It's hard to be a rapper, man. You know, like, I'm gonna keep it real, man. For all the young people coming up. 
the smart thing to do is graduate, get your education, man. Make sure you go to uh, make sure you go to school, stay in the books, and go to go to college if you could go. If you can't go, then this get you a good ass job, man. Get you a good ass job, but you gotta have an education to get a good job. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody wants the easy route out. Fuck the easy route. I want the hard route. It's easy to be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? So fuck that, let's do something different, you know what I'm saying? Or it's cool to be a rapper, but why do you want to put positive music out? Let's don't put that bad music out. Let's put positive music out, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't going to hear positive music because then they're not going to play that shit on the radio. They want to hear that stupid-ass shit. They want to hear that stupid-ass music. Um, I load my AK up and go down the street and hit a lick on a bottle of lean, like, they want to hear that stupid shit, bro. That shit dumb, bro. That shit stupid, bro. Like, I'm going to keep it real, bro. That shit stupid, bro. But like I said, man, rest in peace to Mac Dre, man. Mac Dre, he was a good-ass rapper. I think he was born and raised from California, born and raised. But he was born and raised in the Bay. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised in the Bay and shit. And, like, he was just a good nigga, man. He's a good dude coming up out there, man. Good dude. He was like, he's like a lot of people don't know. Mac Dre was selling his motherfucking CDs out the car, my nigga. He was selling his shit out the car, nigga, to try to get his shit popping. Mac Dre was trying to get his name popping, his shit popping. He was selling CDs out the car, nigga. He was putting posters on everywhere out there in the Bay, nigga, everywhere in Cali, my nigga. A lot of people don't know, man. You got to give Mac Dre his flowers, my nigga. Everybody got to give Mac Dre his flowers, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, that nigga is a legend, bro. A real, real shit, bro. I don't give a fuck what Mac Dre did to another nigga or if he had an argument with another nigga. The nigga should be able to overlook that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then Mac Dre lost his life to gun violence. You know, that's fucked up. He lost his life to gun violence. You know, he lost his life. Now, I'm going to say Mac Dre lost his life because another nigga was hating on him. That's how he lost his life. Another nigga was hating on him and another nigga wanted his spot, basically. That's how I say it, you know. And it's sad that he lost his life in Kansas City because, you know, they tried to pinpoint it and said a lot of them niggas out there had something to do with it, right? But a lot of motherfuckers don't know. If they did or they didn't, my nigga, motherfuckers just jump to the internet and start accusing people. You know what I'm saying? So they try to say Kansas City has something to do with Mac Dre death. They really don't know. You know what I'm saying? Niggas really don't know. Niggas just like, niggas really don't know. If y'all niggas really don't know what the fuck really happened then and who did it, shut the fuck up. Really? You know what I'm saying? Because you can't pinpoint and punch your finger and say he did it, he did it. Like, you don't know who did it. You know what I'm saying? But... It's sad that Mac Dre lost his life to gun violence, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of rappers should be able to grow old, my nigga, and die, nigga, with natural cause. Nigga, cancer. Um, nigga, grow old, nigga. Be able to, motherfucking rappers should be able to grow, nigga, old to they nigga, like, 80, 85, nigga, 65, and die in their sleep or some shit. Nobody should have to die to gun violence, bro. Like, that's the problem. We need to put the motherfucking guns down. We need to put the guns down, the weapons down, and come together, my nigga. Even if we don't like each other. We just need to go a different route, my nigga. Like, okay, if nigga, you don't like me, nigga, I go this way. You go that way. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit happened with Matt and Drake growing up and shit, living up, man. And, you know, everybody has struggle in your life. Everybody got struggles in their life, man. You know, and, you know, Matt Drake, he made it. He, to me, I think he made it. He made it popping. Like, he made shit popping for him. Like, nigga, he got on, you know what I'm saying? He didn't get on, 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 but he was about to be, be, be big. But, you know what I'm saying? He got it popping, nigga, where everybody knew him, nigga, out there in Cali, nigga, the Bay, in Kansas City. But to me, you know, he didn't get big, big, like, where he was on the billboard and motherfuckers was talking about him every day, you know? But nigga still can't take nothing for him because he's a legend, bro. He's a legend, bro. Tupac is a legend, nigga. Like, you know, and... I saw a video of JT nigga talking about, man, you know, like, that niggas don't got love for Mac Dre, niggas backdoor Mac Dre. Now, I know this, nigga, you can't tell me, I know a motherfucker that backdoor, I know people that, it's people that backdoored Mac Dre and set up him and shit, because how did niggas know where the fuck he was, and how did niggas know where he was performing at, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, I do believe Niggas set up Mac Dre, but I don't got no name for it. You see what I'm saying? I'm not pinpointing a nigga name. I'm just saying, yes, Mac Dre was set up, and he was backdoored. And when I say that, mean a nigga drop your location. Oh, yeah, man, pull up right here, man, Mac Dre. He right here and shit. 
He in the color van, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's back door. Nigga, when the nigga set you up and give you a location out, that's back door. A setup is when you tell a nigga something, hey, bro, yeah, man, shit, man, we about to go down there and go get some bitches and shit, and we're going to kick it and shit, and then we end up kicking with the bitches and shit, and then the bitches fuck around, snake me out, and, and get me, but you stay alive. That's a setup right there, see? Two different things, you see what I'm saying? You know, but yeah, I believe in that shit what happened to Mac Dre. Mac Dre was double crossed. I feel like he was double crossed and set up nigga and back door, you know. But like I don't know who did it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who did it, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who did it. I'm that's the police job, nigga, to find out. Nigga, I'm not no police, my nigga. You know, but I just the only thing I think Mac Dre, he was a legend, bro. And like you know, nigga, he had kids and shit too. Mac Dre had kids, you know, I think Mac Dre, like, I think everything what Mac Dre worked for in his life, everything should go to his kids. Everything go to, should go to his kids, you know what I'm saying? Because Mac Dre worked his ass off, nigga. It was times and days, nigga, Mac Dre didn't get out that damn studio. Nigga, he stayed in the studio all night, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And Mac Dre, I, I believe, I do believe Mac Dre wrote songs for some of your favorite rappers, for some of your favorite actors. Yes, Mac Dre done a lot, man. So at the end of the day, we got to get Mac Dre his flowers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just look at it like this. Oh, Mac Dre was like, he was set up. Okay, everybody know that. You know what I'm saying? He was back door. We all know that. But at the end of the day, like, let's give his flowers, nigga. And let's say rest in peace to Mac Dre because he's a legend, bro. Like, Mac Dre, he could go in this motherfucking studio, nigga, and come out with a song, nigga, in motherfucking 10, 15 minutes, nigga. Straight up, that was Mac Dre, nigga. Like, Mac Dre, he got the afro, nigga, with the glasses and shit, nigga. He made that hit that song, nigga, Thiz Dance. Come on, bro. Mac Dre was really doing it, bro. Mac Dre was talking about Thiz Dance. Thiz Dance. Like, that shit was a classic, bro. I'm keep it real. That shit really would have hit the billboard, nigga. It would have went, nigga, platinum. I think it did go platinum, though. You know what I'm saying? But I know Mac Dre, he sold a lot of records and shit. Mac Dre been through a lot of shit in his life and shit. Yeah. Everybody been through a lot of shit in their life, you know? But... Mac Dre, he had kids. He was he had a good heart on him. He had a good heart, bro. He had a good heart, you know. But I just feel like you know, Mac Dre had too many niggas around him. He had too many niggas around him, and too many niggas was around him. And I guess you know, I think like somebody wanted his, somebody wanted to be in his place. Somebody wanted to be in his place, and and nigga, some somebody wanted to get him out the game, you know. But. Like I said, nigga, I don't know who got, who did that, my nigga. I don't know who got to do nothing. I don't know, who, nigga, who did nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because in the day, I wasn't there. I don't know who did that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, yeah, Mac, uh, Mac, um, Mac Dre, yeah, nigga, he put on for a lot of people. Nigga, Mac Dre, he helped a lot of people out, though. Like, Lenny, don't get it fucked up, nigga. He helped a lot of people out, nigga, with their rap careers, nigga. He helped a lot of people out with their rap careers, nigga. But you don't hear these rappers talking about Mac Dre, nigga, nowadays. Like, why the fuck nigga ain't giving Mac Dre his flowers, my nigga? Because at the end of the day, nigga, Mac Dre helped out all them niggas in the Bay. I'm going to tell you who Mac Dre helped out, nigga, who I think Mac Dre helped out. Filthy Rich, um, Lavish D, J Stallion, um... Motherfucking uh, J Diggs, um, Joe Blow, um, who else? Um, E Forty. Who else? Motherfucking uh, oh, it's a rapper in 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 California. His name is Blue Blood. Blue Blood. Okay. Um, Man, there's a whole bunch of rappers. There's a whole bunch of L.A. rappers, bro. Motherfucking Mac Dre helped out, bro. I'm going to keep it real. Mac Dre helped out. Oh, he helped out the game. He helped out the rapper game. He helped out him. And I think Mac Dre helped out. I want to say he helped out. See, I don't know. I'm about to say something. Let me see. I think, man, I think Mac Dre, man, helped out a lot of motherfucking people in the world. You know what I'm saying? And he helped out a lot of artists and shit. And everybody know him, bro. <coughs> Excuse me. But people should pay their respect to Mac Dre, bro. Because he's a motherfucking legend, bro. And, oh, he helped out Too Short. Yep. He helped out Too Short career. He helped out Yuck Mouth. Yep. Yep. Mac Dre, that's what I'm saying. You see all them names and names, nigga, who Mac Dre helped out? Yeah, he helped out all them people. 
So the end of the day, man, I just think Matt Dre, man, should have focused on his music. He should have just focused on his music, and he should have just, you know, it's cool to have friends and shit, right? But you got to have friends that you could trust. You got to hang around with people that you could trust. If you can't trust a motherfucker, you shouldn't be around him. You can't, like, it's the same shit like having a woman. If you can't trust your female, you shouldn't fuck with her. If you can't trust your best friend, you shouldn't be around him. If you can't trust your brother, you shouldn't be around him. It's the same shit, man. But, you know, I do believe Matt Dre was set up and backdoored. But I don't think he was set up by none of them niggas or named. But I'm just saying, I believe he was set up by some people in the world. But I don't know who the fuck he was set up by, you know. But niggas wanted his spot. Niggas wanted his spot, bro, you know. But Matt Dre, he will always live on. He, he will always live on through his fans. His music will always live on through his fans and his family. Like I said, man, rest in peace to Mac Dre, man. He's a legend, bro. Like, you know, I do believe Mac Dre was set up. And I do believe he was backdoored, you know, but I'm not no police, bro. So at the end of the day, man, I don't know did they ever catch the dude or did they ever catch the people who did it. But, you know, I'm going to say it like this, man. Rest in peace to Mac Dre. You know, Jay Diggs and Jay Diggs and uh, J, JT Bigger. Figure, you know, the JT the bigger figure they got beef with him, J Diggs and them, they two them two niggas they got beef, right? Them is two two grown ass mans where they could squash their beef and they could come together, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, bro, y'all niggas got beef. It's probably not it's probably not about nothing. It's really probably not about nothing, you know, but JT the bigger figure said he ain't fucking with him. He said if he ain't fucking with J Diggs, he's saying basically J Diggs is uh he called Jay Diggs a a, a a pussy ass dude and he even talked about whack. Jay Diggs called whack a police nigga. He said he worked for the cops, you know. And a whack one hundred, I do believe whack one hundred, whack one hundred. He do start a lot of shit. He start a lot of shit. He start a lot of shit with rappers and shit. But then he can't defend himself, no. You know what I'm saying? So I do think whack one hundred. You know, he didn't uh, fuck with. He didn't know how to. Nigga act his age The nigga like 48 Nigga going on 50 right Whack 100 don't act his age But he need to learn how to act his age Nigga And stay out of people motherfucking business You know what I'm saying Cause Whack 100 be speaking on everybody Like he speak on everybody Nigga and he love the motherfucking internet That nigga love the internet Nigga Like Somebody need to take Whack 100 phone my nigga Take that nigga phone for about nigga a week You know what I'm saying Straight up though, man. You know, oh and Jay Diggs, bigger fat Jay Diggs, not Jay Diggs. J T the bigger figure. He said, um, him and Game had problems too. They had problems in the past too, my nigga, I guess, you know. But I'm gonna keep it real, man. There's no point of arguing with a there's no point of arguing with a person, right? The best thing to do is this, you know. Sort your problems out, my nigga. Instead of looking behind your back and looking behind your shoulder. Like, let's squash the beef. Let's squash the problems, nigga. Let's put the guns down. Let's come together. Let's stop killing our fucking race. You know what I'm saying? Because killing your race is stupid, bro. Like, that's dumb. You know what I'm saying? It's dumb, bro. You know? But like I said, man, rest in peace to uh, Mac Dre. Rest in peace to Mac Dre, man. You know? You a legend in my eyes, man. And every time I listen to your music, man... Your music motivated me, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, though, you know. But make sure everybody subscribe to the YouTube channel down below. I'm going to say Allen Baby TV. I love y'all.